let us now try the same sum under last in first out method. Standard per unit to 100 unit for per unit of output to 100 units of input to 10 rupees sum 10 rupees cost. Le. Actual output being 100, abdina standard for 100 units. Standard for 100 units. 10,000 units are in need at rupees 10 per unit. So, consumption being opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock, the consumption here being. So, you have to add up these two and subtract this one. 11,000. As I am going to follow the last in first out method, first one the latest one the purchase value will be given. 10 unit, 10 rupees. Balance 1,000, 10 rupees, 11 rupees. Uh, 11 rupees. Adhavad, this will be 11 rupees. Balance one the opening value will be given. Opening value will be given the price of 10. Me opening stock would a cost in our company is equal to standard cost. Previous year less in the seller in the also standard to fix money panga. Previous year or unit of a cost in our other closing stock are good. Abina opening stock of the current year price is equal to the standard cost for the current year. Right. So this is called LIFO method. So rest of the things are the same. Material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. Standard cost being 10,000 units at rupees 10. Actual cost being 10,000 units at rupees 11. Plus, in the IRM unit, opening learned, opening learned, use panirkaranga, the value 10 rupees. Then the final value here being how much is that? 10,000 adverts, 20,000 adverts, okay, 20,000 adverts. Material price variance, standard price minus actual price into actual quantity. Standard price for actual quantity for variance in the club. Variance again, the karma, the material club. Standard price 10, actual price 11. 11 is the unit impact only this 10,000, not this one. So, 10,000 into 1, 10,000 rupees adverse. 10,000 adverts. Material quantity variance or usage variance. Standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard price. So, standard quantity is 10,000 units, actual quantity is 11,000, standard price being only 10, this is also 10,000 adverts. Then material cost variance is equal to material price variance plus material quantity variance. 20,000 adverts is equal to 10,000 adverts plus 10,000 adverts. So, weighted average pricing and simple average pricing are not so important for your examination. Remember, rara FIFO le keke raanga, LIFO kuda keke raanga, illa, yirna la adhiyan explain mani irukkara. Weighted average pricing, simple average pricing method, eppi saar irukkom diyem. We will see that also a bit faster. So, for the better understanding, of course, not for the exam purpose, for the additional learning, you can do this. Weighted average nal, in arukkom di chanaka, weighted average pricing. Opening stock for more item unit on the chi, other price on the 10, 30,000. Closing units, the purchase on the 10,000 units, either a value 11 rupees now 1 lakh 10,000. So you have purchased 13,000 units, other a value 1 lakh 40,000 sunnal per unit today value in there. This is the per unit value 1 lakh 40,000 divided by 13,000 10.77 rupee 10.77 round up and here can have final rounding of error number so exam point of life they will understand you know that the consumption of quantity being 
11,000 units. That is opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Okay. 10,000 is added with the 3 and minus 2, 11,000 is the consumption. So, weighted average pricing method la material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. Standard cost being this is per unit information for 100 units of output, 10,000 units of input is needed at rupees 10 per unit. So, 10,000 into 10, actual cost on the 11,000 units price being 10.77, 10.77. Then the final value here being 18,470 adverts, 18,470 adverts. Then next being material price variance, standard price minus actual price multiplied with actual quantity, standard price being 10, actual price being 10.77 as per the weighted average pricing method, multiplied with uh, 11,000 units. So, the final value being 8,470 adverts. Then material quantity variance or usage variance, standard quantity minus actual quantity multiplied with the standard price. St actual quantity being standard quantity being 10,000, actual quantity being 11,000, standard price being 10, so the final value being 10,000 adverts. If I add up these two, you will get material cost variance. Of course, you can verify. Can I solve this under uh, material uh, simple average pricing method? Simple average pricing method na price or average. Opening stock value 10 rupees. Purchase value 11 rupees per unit. That is 1 lakh 10,000 rupees for 10,000 units. Now, one unit value 11 rupees. If I take the average of this, this is called simple average pricing method. Simple average price. Okay. So, 10.5 by chi, you work up in the There will not be any more complications. So, material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. 10,000 units being introduced at standard quantity for producing the 100 units minus 11,000 units at rupees 10.5. Then 11,000 into 10.5, 1 lakh 1500 minus 1 lakh, so 1500 adverts, 1500 adverts. Material price variance, standard price minus actual price into actual quantity, actual quantity, standard price being 10, actual price being as per the simple average method. Pricing method, it is 10.5. Actual quantity here being 11,000. So, 5,500 adverts. And material quantity variance, standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard price. Standard quantity 10,000 units, but actually we consumed 11,000. And then the standard price is nothing but simple average pricing method. La, sorry, the already is given, sorry, 10, 10,000 adverts. Final verification being material price variance and quantity variance. If you sum these two, you will get the cost variance. Of course, we got the answers for simple average and weighted average. So, these two methods are for the extra learning, not for your exam purpose. Is that clear? Make a note of it.